Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Now, believe it or not, this is my first Planet of the Apes movie. I have not seen any of the others. And so going into this movie, this is a whole new thing for me. Um, and this being a post, it's, well, it takes, from what I've heard, it takes place a couple hundred years after the uh, last Planet of the Apes trilogy that came back in the 2010s. So this movie has to basically, for me, introduce the entire world and for returning audiences has to reintroduce the whole world because um, this takes place a couple hundred years afterwards. So there is almost, I want to say no continuity, but I mean, obviously there is, but um, there, like it's, it's like a whole new era. So none of the characters are the same and everything. So I thought, I thought this movie was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to have to go through and watch all the other Planet of the Apes movies. I don't know how exactly how far back I want to go, but uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, uh, whether, whether I want to or not. But um, so like this movie is basically, again, like a couple hundred years afterwards. Um, so for me, this is like a whole post-apocalyptic movie you know it's um it's i want to say take it takes place in america i don't really i mean i don't really know where this takes place but i, mean, I can only assume it takes place in america um in like a this post-apocalyptic america i love those kinds of movies um or even video games too as well uh where it takes place in like a post like it takes like modern day world and then it makes it post-apocalyptic and then you see you know skyscrapers with like plants growing all on them and they're destroyed and everything that's I think that's just really cool to see just because it's like you know taking our what, what, what we recognize and then just making it like something that they don't recognize right and that's that's really cool so I think they did a really good job with their whole world building and everything again like I said it has to introduce the world to me as a first-time viewer and it does that very well um, I I feel it's a little pathetic to say that that actual good world building impresses me but it does maybe it's just because uh, only the really good media does actually good world building and so this like it has to basically explain what is this world and because like a lot of especially because it's been a couple hundred years and they don't like they don't record any of any of that time. Basically, you have one guy who, or one ape who, he he's the only one who actually like knows what happens, or so a lot of the stuff that happened in the last trilogy, which is now going to be like a prequel series for me, uh, going back and saying how did this all start and everything like that. And so you know, with it being, um, you know, like it's it's basically now now that entire trilogy is now ancient history. And starting here and now is the like current saga, right? And I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. I really liked it. Um, and you have all these people who don't know or understand any of the, that past stuff that happens, which you know makes it kind of fall into the ancient history kind of stuff. And um, so I thought, yeah, it was uh, it was fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed the way, you know, uh, it, it was. You know, it was kind of fascinating how all of the apes, you know, interact and kind of like the history between um, apes and humans. Because it's like, how did we get to a planet of the apes kind of thing? You know, like, like how, like how do you, how do you get that, right? How do you get that? And it explains it all. It's which is great, you know. And then it also gives you a little bit of information just so that you know, like, you know, um, at the beginning of the movie, just so that you know, kind of like it prepares you. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous movies, so it, it just kind of gives you that in the beginning. Um, so really, it gives you all the information you need. So if you haven't seen any of the other Planet of the Apes movies, you can go into this one knowing literally nothing, and it will explain everything to you. And not in a, like a uh, you know heavy dialogue, heavy kind of way, but more you know like a gradual. Uh, you kind of learn about the world as a whole, uh, kind of way. Where kind of um, where like just as as the story progresses, you learn about the culture and you learn about everything like that, um, which is always the type of storytelling I really appreciate, especially with world building, is not just giving us exposition, but like actually showing us the culture, showing us the world, and then explaining it that way by showing it to us rather than explaining the history and everything. And of course you have to tell, like of course there's some stuff that's not around, you have to explain it, but 
it is still a pretty cool thing that they've done there. Also, by the end of this movie, you actually kind of realize this is not going to be like just a one-off sequel to The Planet of the Apes. Um, and I, I honestly, you know, I really feel like there's a lot more story to tell here. I think that there's, you know, like with, with it being a pretty old franchise, I believe the original movie came out in 1968. And so this is a pretty old franchise. Um, but it, it, I think with what they're doing here, I think there's a lot more story that they can tell. Um, there's a lot more they can do with it. And it's not just going to be, it doesn't really feel like they're milking the franchise dry. It feels like there's a lot more story to tell and they just haven't gotten, they had just, they had just haven't gotten there yet. Right. So I think they, I think they still make movies and I still, I think it, that these movies are still probably going to be good because it's not, it doesn't really feel like a franchise being milked to death. It feels like there's, there's more story to tell and that, having more movies in this series is definitely going to be something that is appropriate, I guess. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, really good movie. Highly recommend going and watching this one. Um, and it's, even, if, even if you've never seen a Planet of the Apes movie, this is, this is a good, fantastic movie to go see. So highly recommend it. And uh, if you guys want to see any more uh, reviews uh, or anything else like that, uh, subscribe for more of these. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. So see you later. Ciao.